If you are selling on Etsy and you haven't checked out eRank lately, you are missing out on tools that could literally change your shop's growth. Now, I've been using eRank for years to grow my shop and track trends, and these new features, they are next level. And here's the thing, most sellers waste hours guessing what tags, keywords, and categories actually bring in sales, but eRank just solved that. Their new update aren't just about clicks, they're about showing you what actually converts, and that means less trial and error, and more time to actually run your shop. And if you'd like to try eRank for free, just comment eRank down below, and I will send you my referral link so you could test it out yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the biggest upgrade. All right, so the first feature is create video. And what's cool about this feature is that you're able to turn your product photos into actual videos that help you build trust and help your listing stand out. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, you could drop and drag your images, or you could just upload them directly to eRank. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my four right here. And once you upload them, it's gonna give you the option to go ahead and select your video format. So for aspect ratio, you could do a square one by one, which is what you're seeing now. You could do horizontal, which is 16 by nine. You could do vertical, which is nine by six. Obviously for the type of images that I uploaded, the better ones would be the square one by one. Now what's nice about this particular feature is that you could actually use it to create videos for other platforms as well. So if you ever wanted to create a quick video for your IG, for your stories, for your YouTube, for Pinterest or TikTok, you could actually come in here and use the vertical feature of the aspect ratio and create that video. So keep that in mind when you're creating content for your Etsy business. Now it's gonna ask you what is the video duration? I personally like 10 seconds, it's not too short, but it's not too long. So I would do 10 seconds, and then it's gonna ask you what type of transition do you want? So you have the option to do the fading, which is the, by default, that's the one that you get, which is that one there. I love the fading, it's really classy, it looks really nice, it fades in really beautifully. Now you have the option to do a sliding, you have the option to do a zoom in, and you'll, you also have the option to select none. So this is the sliding that you're seeing. As you can see, it's just sliding in. And then let's do the other one so you can see all three. And then between each photo, you have the transition length. Do you want it to be five seconds? Do you want it 0.5 seconds? Do you want it to be one second? Or do you want it to be two seconds? I personally like the one second. So this is the last one here. And this is the zoom in, which I think is okay. I like the fade in the best. So pick the one that you like preferably and go with that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the fade in. Now I am gonna go ahead and change the transition length to one second. And another cool feature about this is that you're able to brand your actual photos with your logo. So if you click here, you're able to upload your logo, make sure it is saved as a PNG, a JPEG or SVG. Obviously for something like this, I would say PNG or SVG, you wanna have the transparent background. And once you upload it, you actually could put it on the top left corner, on the bottom left corner, on the top right corner, or in the bottom um, right corner. And you would just select right here where you want that logo position to be at. And then lastly, we have this uh, 60 frames per second, 30 or 24. I have found the higher the frame per second, the smoother the transition and the better the quality of the video. So I would leave mine at 60 and that's what I recommend for you to do. Once you're happy with your video, you have done all the video settings. The last step is to download the video. It'll take a few seconds to download. It will export to your computer. And then from there, you will have it available where you could go ahead and use it on Etsy. You could use it on social media. You could use it for your email marketing or pretty much anywhere that you create content for your Etsy business. The next feature is the keyword tool feature. Now, this has been there for quite a while, but they did a little bit of an upgrade now. When you're doing keyword research, 
Now you're able to determine if a keyword is high converting at the current moment and also if it's trending. So the way you know this is that when you're using keyword tool and let's say that you're doing a search for like home decor, you'll see this little tag right here. And if you hover on top of the eye, it will give you more information. It says, we have seen a lot of shoppers adding to cart in purchasing after searching this keyword in the last 30 days. And then if you hover on this one, it will tell you this keyword has been popular in Etsy search over the past week. This is a good indicator that that keyword at that current moment is trending, but not just trending, is making people add to cart, which is huge because if you find one of these that doesn't have as much competition as this one, that has a high search volume, I would say at least a thousand or more, the higher the better, but competition, 30,000 or less, the less of the better, that will be the keyword that I will use as my focus keyword. That's a keyword that you will put in the beginning of your title for SEO purposes. That's the keyword that you will put in the beginning of your description for SEO purposes. And that will be the keyword that I will focus all of my energy on because it's gonna give you the higher probability of ranking, but not just that, bringing tons of people that are searching and adding to cart after they use that keyword. So make sure to keep an eye on this because this is a new feature and it's pretty cool, especially when you do keyword research. The next feature is called Shop Info. And this is gonna let you view important statistics about any shop. You're gonna see where it ranks and you're gonna be able to gain insight into its success. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the actual name of the shop and it's gonna give you general information at the top where you can see the total sales, the average sales per day, the active listings, how many years they've been on XC. But when you go down, this is where the gold is at. This is where you're able to see the sales history by every single month. But not just that, you're able to see their top tags and you're also able to see their top categories. So this means that if you sell similar products, let's say like this store, and they're doing really, really well with, let's say, bridesmaid gift, that means that you should probably be using that for majority of your gifts if it falls within that category, obviously, right? There are gonna be particular products that fall into multiple categories. But if you know which one is the most popular, that's the one you wanna use. Because remember, when people do searches on XE, the five contributing factors for SEO is title, tags, attributes, category, and relevancy. So essentially, when people do searches on XE, categories play a huge factor if you get found because that's one of the contributing factors. When people do searches, they refine their searches. They might type in a keyword, they might go in there and filter it out even more by choosing a category or choosing a specific attribute. And that's why it's so important to pay attention to these little things. And it also gives you their most recent listings. So it's gonna give you so much data for that particular competitor that you're analyzing. And you can also go here for listings and it'll give you more of those details. As you can see, it'll give you the actual title, it will tell you their keywords and all of the listings that they currently have. And then the tags is just a separate section where you can see their top tags, what is the search volume, what is the average click-through rate, what is the competition if you scroll all the way far back. So this is gonna give you so much insight, especially when you're doing market research. Quick reminder, if you like to try eRank for free, just drop eRank in the comments and I will send you my referral link directly. So the next tool that I have for you is called Rent Checker. Now this is a tool that they have had for a while. They just added additional upgrades to it. And I'm gonna point those out to you right now. So the way that you use the tool is that when you're doing like market research or you wanna look at one of your competitors, you grab their title and you paste it here. You grab their XC store, you put it right here, and you do a quick analysis, and it's gonna pull up that listing that has the same exact title. You might get some listings that have multiple listings with the same title, that's pretty normal when you're duplicating your listings. And once you have that there, it's gonna tell you if this listing, what page does it fall in, and where does it rank. So this particular listing here is on page one, 
and it ranks as number one. Now, the keyword that's driving that page one is blush linen wedding dress. So it's a long tail keyword. Now, the same listing is ranking on page one and also ranking on one for color embroidery Ukrainian dress. So they do have two main keywords that are bringing in most of the traffic. And that's pretty normal. You're going to have, let's say, 13 keywords, and you might have three or four that are bringing most of the traffic, and maybe the other ones are not. But this is pretty good because now if you're selling a similar product, you know what is working for them. And you could actually, instead of copying blindly all of their keywords, you know these are the two that are working. So you could definitely copy that one and that one as long as it it is relevant to what you're selling, obviously, right? And use it. Now, it doesn't just stop there. Not only does it tell you what is their number one keyword for that listing, when you click here, it's gonna give you additional information. And what I like about this, it's gonna give you like a, a listing metric, like how many sales, estimated revenue, daily views, um, favorites. So it does give you a lot of insight. It tells you, you know, down here, like the title, it gives you all of the keywords. We already know the top two, but it gives you all of the keywords. What is the search volume? What is the average click through rate? What is the competition? It tells you if they've been used in the actual description or not. It gives you all of their attributes, the category they're currently using, and then also the description and what they wrote. And then it shows you all of their photos and it even shows you their meta description, which is a snippet that's shown off page SEO factors, right? It's a contributing factor for like Google, Yahoo, Bing, et cetera. And it even shows you that. This is really, really great when you're looking at a competitor that you're competing with and you're trying to figure out what the heck they're doing that I'm not doing, right? So this is gonna give you so much information on how you could also rank for certain terms on page one. Another upgrade is the delivery status. And now you're able to track your XE orders from pre-transit all the way to deliver for better customer communication. Now from my end, as you can see in the screen, it says, sorry, we couldn't find any orders. And that's because I only sell digital products. But in your screen, you're gonna be able to see the order date, the destination, so where it's going to, and the status of the package. Whether it was delivered, maybe it's in transit, maybe it's delayed, it's gonna give you all of that information. And what's nice about it is that you could come down here and you could change the date. You could look at information from today, yesterday, seven days ago, 30 days ago, last month. Um, you could do a, spe a specific date that you're looking for, a specific package. This is definitely going to help you, especially when it comes to customers messaging you and asking you about the package. Now you're able to come in here, track it, and give them the, the right information and kind of instead of saying, I don't know, or it's in transit and maybe it's not, right? Maybe there's a delay or something happening. So absolutely recommend using this if you sell physical products for sure. These tools are all about saving you time and showing you what really drives sales. And if you want to take this even further, my next video is breaking down how to spot winning XC trends. So don't forget to subscribe, comment E-Rank to try it out, and I will see you in the next video.